Okay, as you can see, my Final Cut window has now opened. It might look slightly different to yours because I'm working on a smaller screen than yours, so your layout might be slightly different. Um, it's kind of optimized for um, whatever size screen you're working on. Uh, it can be quite difficult working on these smaller screens, so you guys are quite lucky working on those big iMacs. Um, what we're going to look at now is uh, importing footage. Um, so the footage that we've copied into our new folder, uh, we need to look at the proper way to import it. So first of all, we need to have an event to import it into. At the moment, I've got a general project event, uh, which I just use for doing videos from around the school, such as this nursery video, for example. Um, what we're going to do is create a new event. So we can uh, make sure you've got Final Cut open instead of QuickTime, which I had open up in the background. Go to File, New, Event. Uh, an event is um, where all of your footage and all of your media will be stored, but it's not a project. So usually when you create an event, it will automatically create uh, an untitled project. It won't always do that. There's like a a selection you can choose to make it do that or make it not do that. Um, but once it's created an event, this is where you'd need to create your project. So mine's been automatically created. If yours hasn't, go to File, New, Project, and that will create a new project in here. Uh, for this project, I'm just going to, again, call it Example. Um, I'll call it Example Project. So now we can see at the bottom, I've got a blank timeline. So this is where we're going to put all of our media when we do our editing. But first of all, we need to actually import our media. To do that, we can go to either, I say either, there are actually three options. We can go to File, Import, Media, or you can see here there's a short key which is Command I, or we can click this downward arrow over here. Any, any one of those options will uh, open up this following window. So this window enables us to navigate to where we stored our footage, which is in the appropriate file location. So that's, uh, I've put in Nana, AS, example folder, first upload, and here is my clip. Wonderful clip of the outside of Media Studies 2 editing suite, or Media Studies 1 editing suite, rather. Um, over here you can see uh, there are a few options for you to select. You don't need to worry about these because I've already set these up for you. Um, just, in a, uh, just make sure that when uh, you upload your files, it says copy to library. That just means that you've got a backup version. So if we click import all, you can select as many as you have down here. Um, if you want to select them all, you can press command and A. If you want to select a range of them, you can press um, shift and click from one to the next, or if you want to select individual ones, you can hold command and click individually along the list. Click import all, it will put them into our event, so you need to make sure you have the correct event selected when you do this, because then they'll go in here and they won't accidentally go into someone else's project, because you're not the only person using that particular iMac. Uh, so now you can see we've got a blank project and I've got all of my wonderful footage here so uh, we can start our editing.